thinking as unaspanced. It's been a torrid 12 months for the travel industry, one of the major victims of the COVID pandemic. Hello, <coughs> today's just maths. <coughs> First of all, I want to share my screen with you. First of all, I want to share my, my screen. It shows or states whether the person has either been either been vaccinated or a recent uh, negative test or has recovered from COVID and thus antibodies. Meanwhile, the UK government... Right, hopefully you can see that. We're continuing with our bar charts <clears throat> and our block graphs and we're going to analyse the data. Right, so looking at this, it right, so says, look at the two sets of data below. What is the same? What is different? Okay, so let's see. How many have I got in serials? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And the number of children in serials is six. So that's the six. same. Okay, how many have I got? Is it telling me? In the, with the numbers for toast, it for says toast, I've got four. Four. one, two, three, or five. Okay, so that's different. Five. Well, that's different. Okay. Eggs. How many have I got on the graph? I've got. How many have I got on the graph for three. eggs? On uh, my chart, I've got two. Okay, so two. I can say that the cereals are the same. Toast is different. There are more children down for toast on the graph than there are in the actual data. For eggs, there are more children for eggs on the graph than there are in the actual data. Now, whoever's done this has not, has not read their um, data properly. They've either not data counted properly. up the totals correctly on the actual graph and not recorded it properly. Okay, so when the work that comes through, so the, when today, the work comes, you're looking at the data and you're answering questions on it once again. So I know that you are, you can comprehend what it's telling you in on the charts and you can read it correctly. If you have any problems with this, just let me know. Okay, I'm just going on to share my screen. Okay, and I'll see you shortly for English. Okay, thank you.